just sitting here in front of the chicken coop having my coffee with all of you and my brand new coffee mug. Today I've got one project I want to get done. I've been wrecking my brain on how to do it. It's really important and I think, I think I may have figured out at least a temporary solution. But I also wanted to kind of share with you some thoughts about something that's been on my mind and that is be nice or get out. It's a simple message. It really is. If the whole world lived by these one, two, three, five words, then the world would be a much better place. So everybody, be nice or get out. So I am gonna, well here, let me just turn this around and show you what I've got on my mind. Take a look at this. I think that they're old steps, and I've got another set of these over kind of showing up the compost heap, but it's got a bunch of old nails in it. It's got some wood that's treated wood, and I think this might help me build a ramp for the chickens to get outside. I'd have to take those things out in the middle, but I may be able to use those on the side to kind of, you know, keep them in on the side, and then I just have to figure out something for the top. So, hmm, this is going to be hard. I'm going to have to get those nails out. I'm going to have to get those boards out. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. Whew, wish me luck. See that piece of wood back there? It's defeated me. I got a few of the nails out, but not all of them. And when I tried to get, and it's nails, it's not screws. So it's not like I can get my little drill thingy and just reverse them out. They're nails and they are embedded really deep so I can't get them out. And I tried just to kind of bang on the wood to see if I can get them to loosen a little bit. And the boards are splitting, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. I need something that is about the length of this board, but this board is too, the width is too small. So I need to see if I got some other boards or another board that I can put up next to this and maybe join together somehow. Whew, goodness, I'm such a bad builder. Hmm, well, they're not all exactly the same thickness, but they're kind of the same size, so I don't know. I may be able to join these together some way. <laughs> this is going to be the jankiest looking ramp ever. Here's the beginning of a janky little ramp. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? These could have been a little bit thinner, but I didn't feel like cutting because I'm just using that, <laughs> the little handsaw. That works great. Um, and I used some more nails in like these two parts because I'm joining that board to two other boards and same there and I did it the same way on the other side too I mean <laughs> I know there's other ways to do that do this bed this is what I had so this is what I'm using plus the chickens will need something to walk on to get you know up and down the ramp and I think I need to put a few more in there because their legs aren't that long and I don't want to have them have trouble slipping or whatever so now I need to figure out what to do for the sides and what to do for the top there's a little step ladder <laughs> I just use sticks. I guess it'll be all right. Well, I got frustrated. I was looking all over the place for stuff to finish that little ramp with and I couldn't find anything that I thought would be acceptable. So I got mad, I got frustrated. So I went and looked at the baby chicks and they cheered me up right away. Look at, look at, they're all on the roost. They're so cute. They're all on the roost. They're all happy and just kind of sitting there resting. So <sighs> I think I need to, to maybe make something for lunch and then get back at it. I fired up the rocket stove and made some green pea, split green pea and ham soup. It was delicious. I should have taken a picture of it when it's all done, but you've seen me make green pea soup before, so it's no big deal. And I loved it. And cooking on this stove, oh my goodness, it just brings me so much joy because I built it myself. The fuel is free and it's just nice sitting outside cooking your meal. Well, frustration time again. It's just before dark. Well, it looks pretty light, but it's going to be getting dark here pretty soon so I closed all the doors but just a few moments ago I closed the the smaller side door right there and I jammed it I jammed it I forgot to take the little hooky do thing out and it is stuck now it releases from the top but it won't release from the bottom so now I can't open that door I don't know what I'm gonna do I can still open the right door which I don't know that may end up being safer for the chicks anyhow but I'm still kind of concerned about Ventilation, I can open that window, and it's all covered with chicken wire so the chickens won't get up. But that just, oh, I spent about an hour trying to get that stupid door open. 
and I got my little ramp propped up over there uh, so that I can see how it works and it's I think it's gonna work if I could just figure out how to put the sides on it so today's been kind of a frustrating day if you know what I mean but all I have to do is come inside and look at my sweet baby she just loves to lounge around on that bed it is a very comfortable bed she's been an exceptionally good girl today I just love her so much well, I didn't finish what I set out to do today. I'm really disappointed. I, I really wanted to have that whole thing done today so that the chicks could go in and out. And now I got the situation with the door and my floor is all wet. But I got baby chickens and I got a sweet doggy. Can you see her over there? She's right over there. <sighs> I'm still frustrated. I don't know if I have all the materials to get this thing done. I've got that ramp fixed. I may need to put a few more little slatty things for the chickens. Um, I don't know. I'll just have to see. I was thinking, I've got some little uh, siding remnants that I could put, and that might be tall enough, but then I'd have to put, like, wood to kind of make them stand up. You know what I mean? I don't think I can just nail them to the side of the, of the ramp. I think they need some kind of support. And then maybe I can just put a tarp over the top, you know, secure that, staple it somehow or the other. I don't know. It's going to be a janky ramp. Um, it's only temporary, but I want to get those chickens as much freedom as that they can have right now. Um, they're happy in the van. They're happy in the van. Oh, and I didn't catch this on film, but I went back in there just a little bit ago, right before I closed the doors, and they were up on the big roost, the pallet thingy roost. Oh, I wish I got a picture, but I'm sure though there will be many more times that I'll be able to get them, you know, photographed on their roost. I just love watching them roost. They're all just, they're just serene. It's like therapy chickens. <laughs> therapy chickens. When I look at them, they make me feel calm. When I look at Judy, when she's being like that, she makes me feel calm. So I'm just going to get up tomorrow morning. I'm going to have my coffee with all of you and I'm going to brush it off that I wasn't able to do something today, and I'm just going to try again. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.